station. This is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston station. Uh, yes, I am ready for the event. Young Astronauts Club, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is the Young Astronauts Club. How do you hear me? Young Astronaut Club, uh, I hear you loud and clear. Good evening, Wakata-san. I am Kosada from Young Astronauts Club. Thank you very much for tonight. Kosada-san, good evening. I was very much looking forward to this night. Welcome on board. Now, uh, without any ado, we would like to start from Tokyo Venue. Uh, uh, Mr. Kata from Tokyo Venue. I am Ayaka Sakata, representing Tokyo Venue in fourth grade of elementary school. And while I'm working as a group leader in Young Astronaut Club branch activities, sometimes I have some difficulty to get opinions and actions on which everyone agrees. Have you practiced any training which would lead to unanimous consensus? That's a very good question. Having all the mind on the same target and do good effort together, all the astronauts were in survival training, and we know each other and know about what others are thinking, and that we will be able to have a good relationship so that everyone knows what others are thinking. This is going to be very important for good teamwork. So that kind of group activity was very useful for us. So people in Tokyo venue, thank you very much for that good question. Thank you very much. Next, uh, Mr. Amagasaki from Fukuoka Venue. My name is Yuki Amagasaki. I'm a first grade of junior high. And how did you practice your language to communicate for mutual understanding with various people of the world? Again, very good question. The communication capability is very important in space. And during my junior high, uh, senior high, and university, I studied a lot for language. Well, I also used the radio for practicing listening and also speaking. I also watched uh, movies, English movies, also listened to radio and TV programs in uh, those languages, uh, listen, speak, listen. Uh, so I uh, took all the opportunity to practice the language. I also have to speak Russian. And the way I learned in while well, learning English was useful for learning another language as well. So I think it's very important for you to learn English so that you will be able to uh, communicate with people from the world. Thank you very much from Fukuoka Venue. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Mr. Aoki from Mie Yokaichi Venue. I am of Hanahikita Elementary School, and I'm second grader, and my name is Aoki. And when the ISS advances into the aurora, uh, whether the aurora is shattered or the aurora is opened like a curtain, and what kind of color is it? Again, very good question. So, International Space Station, and I am in Kibo, Japan Experiment Module, and we are flying at the height of 400 kilometers above the space, uh, above the ground. And Aurora is usually seen at a lower uh, altitude, about 300 kilometers. And Aurora looks like curtain and shimmers. Uh, but uh, it doesn't happen. I mean, aurora does not uh, be scattered, but we see aurora uh, far, and then it uh, approaches nearer. 
and it really looks like curtain simmering. It's very impressive sight. Thank you very much from Mie. And regarding the color, it's a pale green. We all often see pale green aurora. Thank you very much, people from Mie. Now, um, Ms. Fukasawa from Saitama Venue, please. I am in the first grade of junior high in Sirius Branch. Fukazawa Aoi is my name. And is there a special ta or ta tacit rule or custom that astronauts should do something by themselves when they come to ISS for the first time or do sometimes something altogether on the ISS? That's a very interesting question. When you first go to the space, International Space Station, um, there isn't any specific, specific thing that an astronaut has to do when they go first. However, when they come to space and in order to get used to life and work, you usually ask for advice who are familiar with uh, space. But that's something that everyone does. And for human body to be adjusted to new environment and zero gravity environment quickly, uh, I was actually quite surprised how quickly I got adjusted. Thank you very much, Saitama Venue friends. Thank you very much. Now from Kobe, Hyogo, uh, Ms. Yanagihara. I am Nanako Yanagihana, a first grader of junior highs. And when the ISS is orbiting, orbiting at the height, same as Aurora, whether electronic equipment and crew on ISS will have the influence from, influence from solar wind or not, and do you have any impa impact on your health by the solar wind? A very good question. Well, uh, solar wind impact, uh, we do have impact on our body and also our, our equipment. But uh, fortunately, uh, there had not been major impact on our health or hadn't had any major impact on ISS in, uh, equipment, such as a major solar flare. It did not happen. However, in case any major solar flare activity is to happen, then there is some area that have a higher protection for the radiation within ISS. So we have to move to those areas within ISS in case those uh, unlikely event happens. Thank you very much for Hyogo people. Now from Okayama, uh, Ms. Domai, please. I'm a um, sixth grader uh, from Okayama Momotaro branch, and my name is uh, Madoka Domai. So what was the scariest experience so far in your life when you were in ISS, and how did you change your feeling after that experience? Momotaro group branch, that's a great name. And in my space, fortunately, I did not have any very scary feeling. However, in four years ago, uh, when I was on ISS, uh, there was a smoke happened from the boiler machine, and there was a possibility of fire, so I was uh, a bit scared. However, uh, we were very calm and conducted what we had practiced in case. So that's very important, not just for on the space, but be prepared for emergency in terms of mindset and also be prepared properly. Those are going to be very useful in your daily life as well. Thank you very much for the good question from Okayama. Thank you very much. Now, Yamada-san from Kochi Venue. My name is uh, Takumi Yamada. I'm third grade of junior high. Do you think that the space sickness and swelling could be reduced by adding the number of times to coming to space? And you, you can look at the surface from the space of many times and 
How do you think this experience does not it can make the world become peaceful? That's a very great uh, question. I have been in space three times before, and unfortunately, I did not have any space sickness. However, when I am in zero gravity, or the fluid in the body, it goes upper body shifted, and I have a swollen face, and that happens any time when I come up to the space. And uh, by the way, we do not see any boundaries of the world from space. So I think when people understand each other and have good communication, then we will be able to realize peace a world. The people from Kochi Venue, thank you very much for the correction. Now, Yokaichi Venue again. Ms. Sugo, please. My name is Ayumi Sugo. I'm in the third grade of elementary school. Why are there fewer female astronauts compared with the number of male astronauts? Sugo-san, uh, that's a very good question. The work of astronaut when you have the capability and willingness to be an astronaut, both men and women can do this work. And the reason why a few are female astronauts is one of the reasons is that few are female apply for astronauts. So I think it's important that you do not give up because it is a difficult work, but rather each one of you have great capability. So you have, when you have a strong mindset to be an astronaut, both men and women have equal opportunity. There are various works in the world, and there are many work that both men and women can do equally. So I hope that you have a strong mind to pursue your dream. Thank you very much, the people of Mie. Now, from Hakata Miyajima-san, please. I am from uh, Taro Miyajima, uh, Fukuoka venue. My question is that what was your gladdest thing in your day of primary school as a child, and also what about your saddest one? Thank you for the question. When I was in elementary school, I like to capture bugs and fishes and crabs. Those are my uh, gladdest things. And my saddest thing was that I had a chicken. You know, I started uh, to keep it from a little chick to uh, tick, a chicken. And when it passed away, that was the most uh, saddest thing. But uh, encountering such a death, I had uh, felt the importance of life. So that was also a precious opportunity that I encountered. Thank you from Fukuoka. Now, uh, Ms. Uh, Sakamoto from Tokyo Venue. I'm from Aoyama Gakuin Elementary School, Yumina Sakamoto. I heard that uh, some astronauts have taken several photos of coral reef from the ISS. By observing the phenomena of the coral reef from global warming from space, uh, there are any methods to predict the phenomena of coral reef and also prevent the land from desertification by global warming? Uh, you are studying a lot of things. Thank you very much. And you write and observing uh, globe uh, satellite. Observe uh, the uh, ground, uh, the Earth, continuously, and that way we would be uh, able to uh, capture how uh, the environment is changing on the ground. So by that kind of ground Earth observation, we will be able to predict how the environment on the Earth is to uh, change and what we have to do in order to prevent uh, those changes to happen. Technology and space 
is also going to be very useful for protecting our precious Earth environment. Thank you very much for people from Tokyo Venue. Thank you very much, Wakata-san. Now, uh, Mr. Reiji Matsumoto, the president of Young Astronauts Club of Japan, has a question. I am Reiji Matsumoto, the president of Young Astronauts Club. I have had opportunity to talk to you directly on the phone. Thank you very much for calling me uh, at home a few times. I have a very important question that I want to ask to you. So while you are observing the Earth, and you have, uh, and when you see the clouds and other natural phenomena, do you feel any difference compared to your former flights? Visible changes? Do you any uh, see any observation? on the atmosphere of the Earth. Well, uh, Mr. Reiji Matsumoto, observing the Earth from the space, we, I, we are very much impressed, as always, by the strength of the nature of the Earth. So I do not visibly observe any changes on the environment of the Earth. That said, Caspian Sea or Chad Kingdom, uh, some of the uh, shrinkage of lakes are visible too. So some of the human activities are impacting some environment. Those are also visible. And we are doing the activity of expanding, expanding the boundary of human activity. And at the same time, it's very important to preserve the environment of precious earth grove. This is uh, what I always feel. Are there any changes in terms of the polar areas, um, changes in the North Arctic and North Antarctic? Well, the range where we are going around is about 51.6 degrees to both north and south. So the polar areas are not visible from International Space Station. So the ice situation in the north or south poles are not actually visible, observed from International Space Station, unfortunately. Well, I hope that uh, you will continue to go back to space many times, and I hope that uh, you will continue your good work of building the bases. I'm always behind you. Thank you very much, Mr. Wakata. So at the end of uh, this session, would you like to give a message to other people in the venues and also uh, venues and listeners, the viewers of this uh, program. Mr. Matsumoto and Mr. Kosaka, thank you very much. And also all the people, students who are here for the venues, uh, thank you very much for wonderful questions. And each one of you who are there at those different ven venues, you have great capabilities. So it's important that you find something that really interests you and utilize your capability to excel in the area that you're interested. And please think what you can do for other people and find the target that you want to pursue for and keep them not just as a dream, but set them as the solid target and work hard and you may make mistake, you may fail, and you will always fail at a certain time. But don't give up there. But use them as a stepping stone and work harder toward your dream to realize that as something that you can do. Thank you very much for this uh, meeting. Thank you very much, Wakata-san. Let's say thank you to Wakata-san together. Thank you very much, Mr. Wakata.
皆さんどうもありがとうございましたまた会いましょう Thank you very much See you again Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you. Thank you, Young Astronauts Club. Thank you very much. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications. Station, c l u b